Before the pandemic hit, the USDA reported one in nine Americans was food insecure, meaning they lack reliable access to enough healthy, affordable food. The group Feeding America did a study and found 17 million more Americans could become food insecure because of the coronavirus. And on top of that, a UN agency points out that people struggling with hunger often have the same health conditions that can make you more susceptible to severe COVID symptoms. And that's why there's such an intense focus on every way that people are getting food right now. Saturday, Overland Park hosted its first farmer's market since this all started. For everyone's safety, it was a drive through event. Most other farmer's markets have delayed opening completely. So we sent our Andrew Zimmerman to find out how people are still getting access to vendors much needed foods. We sell at Ivanhoe Market and Lee's Summit. Flora Mahaffey started Bread and Roses Farm three years ago. She has relied on farmer's markets to sell. That is, until this year. Found out that uh, most of the farmer's markets we're doing are, were going to be postponed. With both Ivanhoe and Lee's Summit Market postponing their opening, Flora knew one thing for sure. We knew we were going to have a lot of extra food and that we didn't want to go to waste. So Flora came up with a new way to produce some sales opened up online ordering and um, we're doing deliveries once a week. Every Tuesday she loads up her car. Uh, this is bok choy. With a long list of deliveries. Kind of amazing, it, it sells out very quickly each week. Even with the growing online sales, Flora's ready to be back at the market, helping you face to face. There's a lot to worry about, but there's also a lot to be thankful about. Andrew Zimmerman, KCTV5 News.